Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Fred von Leeuwen, the image engineer, and today I wanna to show you how to create a classic still life photograph. In this video, I wanna show you everything from my lighting setup, the props that I've gathered from around the house, and the process in Adobe Photoshop. It's a relatively simple and straightforward shoot. However, when we get to that post-production phase, I wanna show you exactly how to get that painterly look within Photoshop. So please stick around and let's cue that intro. got Adobe Bridge opened up at the moment, displaying eight images in total. Four images with lighting setup A, a single light source from the left side, and lighting setup B, a single light source overhead on the right side. I'm going to combine these four images in Photoshop and paint and light in the shadows, and this is going to help us achieve that painterly look. But first, I'm going to do some basic corrections in Adobe Raw. I've imported all eight images as smart objects in Photoshop, and now I'm going to select each group and turn them into smart objects again. This will create a single smart object per group, and when I change the smart object stacking mode to mean, it'll remove any noise and artifacts in the image. Right, I'm gonna add a layer mask to lighting setup B, Press Ctrl or Command I to invert the mask and using a white brush I'm going to start painting back the details in the shadows. This method will help achieve a bit more of a painterly look in the image. Now that I've painted in the details I'm going to add a sharpness layer to my image. You can easily do this using a high pass filter. However I'm using the sharpness shortcut key from the Retouching Academy plugin to add a new high pass filter really quickly. If you want to check out this amazing plugin, I've put the link down in the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to merge down the bottom two layers in a new layer and call it Orton Effect. And I'll duplicate this layer twice and call the next one Dust and Scratches and the last one Find Edges. These are our effects layers to bring our painterly image to life. First, I'm going to add a Gaussian Blur to the bottom layer. Set the blending mode to Lighten and then drop the opacity down to 25%. Next, I'm going to add some curves adjustment layers and click on the layer clipping button to make sure the effect is applied to only the layer directly below it. I'm going to shift the curves around to make it appear a bit hazier. Okay, and next I'll select my Dust and Scratches layer and go to Filter, Noise, Dust and Scratches and add the effect to its respective layer. I'll keep the blending mode to normal and drop the opacity down to 35%. The last step is to go up to Filter, Stylize and click on Find Edges. Now once I've applied the effect, I'm going to press Ctrl or Command I to invert the image and set the blending mode of this layer to screen. I'll drop the opacity down to 25% and that seems pretty good. Now you can see the sharpening layer at the top is still keeping the details intact, while the three effects layers we've added helps us smooth things over a bit. 
thus creating a more painterly feel to our image. This image can do with some cropping and minor retouching, so I'll just get that out of the way before we move on. Our second last step is to add that cherry on top by color grading the image. We'll tone down the colors to make the palette slightly muted and thus helping with the overall look and feel of a painting. Now at this point you might look at the image and be quite happy with it, but let's take it a step further. I've recently purchased the infinite texture panel created by Pratik Nike and his team and using the AI visualizer included in this plugin, I'm going to add some light beams and dust particles to the image. And if you're interested in trying out this panel, I've added the link in the description below. Okay guys, I hope that was informative and I hope you learned something from that. And as always, if you like this video, hit that like button subscribe to the channel and make sure you press the little bell button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.